guys, it's Jake, and welcome to day 13 of learning to program in Ruby. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I uploaded a video last night on the best ways to promote your content, and this was a response to Eli the Computer Guy and Craig Chamberlain. And Eli the Computer Guy actually wrote a response and posted it onto his channel, uh, his thoughts to my video, and so I thought I'd go ahead and, and share that with you. I'll leave a link to both Craig and Le Eli the Computer Guy's channels in the description if you have not subbed to them already. Today we're going to be creating two programs, and they're going to be calculators. The first program is going to tell us the area of a right triangle based on our two inputs from the two, from the two sides. The second program we're going to create is going to be another calculator, and it's going to give us the hypotenuse of a triangle. If you remember how to get the hypotenuse of a triangle, what you do is you do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that is the side of the triangle that you do not have the information on. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tell the user what to do. So go ahead and open up a editor if you haven't already, and let's type in print, and then let's create our string and it's going to be a question and we're going to write what is the triangles what is the triangles height question mark if you remember from an earlier lesson we talked about gets.chomp and gets.chomp will bring us back this string that the user types in but now we just want to get numbers from our user. So let's suppose we ask what is the triangle's height, and they write down 40 feet. Well, we don't really need feet to be included into our calculation. So what we do is we're going to type h, and we're going to set that equal to gets dot two underscore f. Now the two underscore f is what's going to eliminate any non-essential characters and just give us a floating number. And make sure to put your semicolon after that. And now we want to ask the user what the triangle's width is. So what we're going to do is we're going to print and we're going to make sure to create our string and ask what is the width of the triangle. And we need to put a question mark. Okay, now below that, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to use w, because that's our width, and we're going to set it equal to gets dot two underscore f. Now that we have that information, we need to times them together. If you remember, to get the area of a triangle, you're going to times one number, so it'd be two x times four, and that would equal eight, and then you divide that by two to get the area. Because if it was a square, it would just be you know the height times the width. And so what we need to do in order to do that is we need to come right back over here into our editor, and we need to create what our area is. So we're going to write area, and we're going to set that equal to 0 0.5, and we're going to times that by our height and our width. So we're going to put our star symbol, if you remember from our func or sorry, from our symbols. We're going to do h star width. And now we're going to come down here and we're going to print out what it returns because we have not told the program yet to return anything to our user. So it will know what the area is, but the user won't. What we're going to do is we're going to print out and we're going to add a little sauce to this. So we're going to say, guess what? Your triangle's area is, and remember, we just create our hashtag, our curly braces, and then we type in area. So this is going to return this right here. And let's go ahead and put a, a uh, exclamation point at the end. Now go ahead and save this as save as and we're gonna make this triangle 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 triangles area dot rb triangles r go ahead and open your command prompt with ruby and it says what is your triangles height so we're gonna make our height 10 what is your what is the width of the triangle and we're going to make the width 40 and hit enter and it says guess what your triangles area is 200 
Now I want to see our two underscore f in action, right? Because that's why we created it. So let's go ahead and pull our file back in to our command prompt and hit enter. And now it says, what is the triangle's height? So let's say that our triangle's height is 10 feet and we write out feet like that. And then it says, what is the width of the triangle? So I could do 40 and then I can actually just do the FT or space and hit FT and then I can hit enter. And then it says, guess what? Your triangle's area is 200. So it's completely ignored the fact that I've written feet and it's completely ignored the FT here and it's only gone after the essential numbers that we need. So you can see how that's awesome and how that's great and how you'd really want to, uh, to use that instead of a gets.chomp or anything else that uh, doesn't ignore those items. Now let's move on to our next calculator. And this, we're going to figure out the hypotenuse of a right triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. And what that is is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So go ahead and create a new file, ruby.rb. Let's come down here just a little bit to give us some breathing room. And what we want to do, let's introduce ourselves or let's say hello to the user of the program. So let's write puts and then let's say this is a Pythagorean, let's see, I have to think about this, Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, theorem, theorem calculator, calculator. You can find the hypotenuse, 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 we'll never know if that's right, people, of a, tri a right triangle, triangle with it. And now we're going to hit enter, and let's do puts, or let's do print. To get started, what is side A? We're going to do a question mark there. So now we're asking the user what side A is, and then they will have a chance to answer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our variable a. So we're going to do a equals, and it's going to be equal to the gets dot two underscore f. And then we're going to do our semicolon as well. So let's go below that, and let's ask the next question. We're going to do puts, and we're going to say, what is side, side b of your triangle? With a question mark. And it doesn't matter what order you is. I mean, when, if you're looking at your triangle, you have the height and then you have the length, but it really doesn't matter what order you do it in because the calculation is the same. So what is side B of your triangle? So let's go below that and let's set our variable equal to B. And we're going to do gets.2 underscore F again. Now that we have the length and the width of the triangle, what we need to do is we need to square each one of these first. So what we're going to do is we're going to do A2, which stands for A squared, and we're going to set that equal to A, and we're going to exponential that. If you remember from the prior lesson, from a prior lesson, how you exponential is two stars, and we're going to make that two. So what that'll do is do A times A. And if we set this to three, it would be A times A times A. Let's go below that, and what we're going to do is we're going to create our b squared variable. So write b2, and we're going to set that equal to b exponential 2. We now have everything we need in order to figure out what c squared is. So what we're going to do is we're going to write c2, and we're going to set that equal to a squared. That's this one right here, which will give us the return of this here. And so we're going to write 2, and then we're going to plus that by b squared, and that's going to give us what this is here. Now we're going to return something to our user. So we're going to write puts, and then we're going to add a little bit of personality to this. So we're going to write, you look great today, anything you want really, you look great today. By the way, your triangles hypotenuse, and that's H-Y-P-O, T-E-N-U-S-E, -E. your triangle's hypotenuse, look at this, look at this right here, 
Boom. Almost got away from me. Your triangle's hypotenuse is, and now we're going to pull in this, um, we're gonna pull in this C2. So let's come back over here. Drive, 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 drive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hashtag here, and we're gonna put our curly brace as well. Now within this, we actually are going to do some math. And we are going to do capital M-A-T-H, and this is new for us. We have not covered this yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask it to give us the square root. Because even though we have C squared now, we actually need to fulfill the operation of what C squared is. So let's do square root, and that's capital M math dot square root, or squirt. And now we need to give it our argument. So in parentheses, we write C squared or C2, and that's the variable that it will do. So it's going to take the A squared plus B squared variable here, which is what C2 equals, and then it's going to square root it with this operation right here, math dot squirt, or square root. And so that is our entire program right there. We can add an exclamation point here, and then we can go ahead and save it. We're going to save it as square root, and hit save. Then let's open our command prompt with Ruby and let's pull it in. Go ahead and hit enter. As you can see, we have an error with our program. So let's go ahead and read through this. And we see here on the first line, it says expecting curly brace. Okay, right after hypotenuse is math squirt. Oh, right there. So let's, it's missing right there. So let's go back in and let's come right there and create our curly brace. Now we can go ahead and save it and let's run it again. So we'll pull in square root and hit enter. This time there isn't any errors. So it says this is a Pythagorean theorem calculator. You can find the hypotenuse of a right triangle with it. To get started, what is side A? So we're gonna write 20 hit enter. What is side B of your triangle? We're going to write 100. And now it's given us, you look great today. By the way, your triangle's hypotenuse is 101.9880. So it looks like everything has worked perfectly. What we can do to test that this program is doing the Pythagorean theorem properly is to make side A 3 and side B 4. Mathematically, it should return us 5. So let's go ahead and pull it in again and hit enter. So let's set side A to 3 and let's set side B to 4. And now it has returned. You look great today. By the way, your triangle's hypotenuse is 5. Perfect. Everything worked out great. Go ahead and pull back in your square root file and hit enter. It should be called Pythagorean theorem file, but I whatever, it's fine. It says to get started, what is side A? And we're going to set that to 20. And then what is side B of your triangle? We're gonna make that 40. Now, if you see here, it says, you look great today. By the way, your triangle's hypotenuse is 44.72135. We actually want to round that up so that we only have two decimal places. So it should say 44.72. Now again, if this was five, it would end up returning 44.73 if we were to round it. And how we do that is we just come right in here and we're going to come right over to right outside the C2 and we need to do dot round. And that is R-O-U-N-D, the full word. And then we need to go ahead and hit save. And now let's pull it back in. Do we save it? Yes, we did. Now let's go ahead and pull it back in and let's make sure we use the same numbers. So we're going to hit enter, go ahead and exit out of that. Go ahead and hit enter. And it says, to get started, what is side A? And we did for side A, 20, so we're gonna hit enter. What is side B? And we did 40. So then we're gonna hit enter. And now it has returned, you look great today. By the way, your triangle's hypotenuse is 45. And the reason it's given us 45 is it's rounded the dot seven two, because seven is higher than higher than four, because if it's, if it's five, then it's gonna go up. 
So that's why I just returned 45. And the default for round is to eliminate the decimals. And so let's go back in here because we want two decimal places. We want it to say 45.72. So let's go right back in here and we're going to make that, uh, we're gonna put a two there and we're gonna make sure to put it in parentheses and then we're gonna save it. And now we're gonna pull it back in. Hit enter and we're going to make it 20 and 40 and now it's giving us you look great today by the way your triangles hypotenuse is 44.72 i hope you guys learned a lot today this was a really cool and a really fun one because we actually got to create some programs we're going to be doing more of these as we progress the first few days we actually were going over general concepts and now we're going to start incorporating them into actual useful programs so you're going to see more and more of these as we go on remember that i'm doing a gimp series and a gimp's gimp is the photoshop version is the open source version of photoshop so if you haven't go ahead and check out my channel and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe i really appreciate it like the video if you liked it and share it if you want your friends family and your social networks to hear about it. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys, and I will talk to you later.